Hello and welcome to a video where I'll be talking about the items that are missing from Mike Chappell's CISSP study guide. If you've been following my video saga on this issue, you'll know that we've pretty well established that the only real source of truth is the common body of knowledge, which can be found in ISC Squared's official CISSP common body of knowledge training seminar, which has a hefty price tag of $950, and it's also known as the self-paced training, also known as this little big book, the official student guide, which can only be obtained through very expensive training, typically in the thousands of dollars. Most people who can't afford either of these options need to opt in for something else. That brings us to the first and arguably the most popular of the CISSP books, Mike Chappell's official study guide, priced at an affordable $45 at the time of recording this video. So it seems like this bargain bin product is priced appropriately, comparatively speaking, because what I've done is I've compared the topics and terms from the common body of knowledge with the topics in this book. And I'm not talking about using a word processor or some type of application that looks for word differences. No, I went through the whole common body of knowledge line by line and highlighted the topics that I knew were different or terms that I knew were that I wasn't familiar with, terms that looked new in the 2021 common body of knowledge. And then I compared it to Mr. Chappell's book by doing a keyword or word for word or a word combination search manually. I also looked for variants of the keywords. I put in dashes in certain places and I separated things and tried all different kind of various combinations to make sure I didn't miss the actual topic somehow. And so what I'm showing here is a filtered list. So these are only the items that are not covered. So admittedly, and to Mike's credit, there are indeed a lot of new topics that are covered, but in running the raw numbers topic for topic, it looks like his book only covers about one third of the new material. And yes, you heard that right. Just look at these topics that are missing. The full list can be found on our website at cissprep.net. Our latest blog post has all 190 items. But as you can see here, there are some pretty important topics that aren't covered in domain one, which was really surprising, mostly because this is the most important domain. So for those of you who didn't know, there's this new step added to, for example, here, the risk decision process. If you look kind of in the middle of this list here, there's also some new content that talks about risk perspectives. In the first snapshot, you probably saw the new non-disclosure agreement categories, the bilateral NDAs and so forth. The common body of knowledge has a few pages on that topic alone and explains the difference between each one. And the list goes on and on, and there are lots of items missing from each domain. So what exactly did I do with this discovery? Well, we don't know exactly how or why this disparity of topics exists. And please note here that Mr. Chappell's book isn't the only one that lacks full coverage of the common body of knowledge. The other two main books are also under my review right now, and I'm discovering the same thing. So I suspect that this is ISC Squared's fault, and not that of Mike Chappell. That said, I could be wrong, and it's quite possible that all these authors simply forgot to review the source material in full detail, or maybe they have staff who look at this stuff and just didn't do their research. So the first thing I did after completing my review was I emailed Mike's publisher, John Wiley and Sons. I mean, after all, the book itself says that if you find errors, you should email them. And so that's what I did. The second thing I did was I emailed Mike Chappell through his website. I've already emailed him once about this with just a few things on the list, and he didn't respond. Maybe he thought the list was too small. I mean, I know he's a busy guy, but you would think that if someone pointed out an error that you'd want to look into it, but not in this case. There was zero response. So this time I included the whole nine yards, all 190 items that are missing from his book. And the third thing I did was I emailed ISC Squared. I told them this might be their fault, and to look into the materials that they provided Mr. Chapel and the other authors in case there was a discrepancy. So far, I haven't gotten any response from any of these three. Granted, we're in the middle of the holidays, so I don't expect a response from anyone anytime soon, but I do hope that they are looking into this. So what should you do about this? Well, first of all, don't buy the book. You're essentially supporting a mediocre product whose content isn't accurate. I hate to say it that way, but honestly, if you keep buying his book, you're just feeding the beast. You're feeding something that doesn't deserve to be fed. And again, Mike isn't the only culprit or victim here. I think it's fair to say, don't buy any of these books until they publish an errata of some kind or a, an update or an edit. The second thing to do is if your exam is imminent, I mean, I'm afraid there's not much. You can always pay the fee to reschedule your exam, but I'd only do that if you relied entirely on his book. And the other thing you can do is research these items on your own. The only problem with that is that you won't really get what ISC Squared thinks is important about these topics. The other thing you can do is take a look at our free study guide on our website. It's not perfect by any means, and it doesn't really go into a lot of detail, but I believe that most, if not all, of these topics are covered. Once I finish reviewing the next two books, I'll go through our study guide with a fine-toothed comb, 
and make sure that all of these topics are covered in detail. I'll also make sure that we have questions on any of these topics. And if we don't, I'll write some new ones that we'll post on our website. So I'll end on that note. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad tidings for those of you that use his book. I really hope they fix it since Mike's book carries the word official in its title. My intent is to help improve the current study materials that are available to everyone. So if I seem accusatory or maybe alarmist, it's really just for the sake of getting a response out of Mr. Chapel and his publisher and ISC Squared. I don't care about whether or not they respond to my emails. I just want them to update their book because I don't want to see this disparity pop up again in 2024. Best of luck in your studies, and I hope you all have a great day.